and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant Arcbow in Standard 2020. That's right, it's Monday. It's our last Monday before rotation. We're going to be playing three Standard 2020 decks today, and then we got a pretty sweet looking donation deck later on for some Gruul Galta. Uh, but with this being our last time playing the format, I definitely wanted to play Chandra Tribal again. Um, as y'all know, that's that's my uh, favorite deck that we've played so far in this format. So we're playing that. And we're also playing the Abzan Hero deck that I was really impressed with last time. And that deck was a lot of fun. I really like playing Soren, Vengeful, Bloodlord, and everything. So we're playing that one. Besides that, we got a new one here. We got Bant Arcbow. Y'all know that I like Vivian's Arcbow as well. Um, it's a real fun card to play. So we're going to go ahead and try that in this format and see how it goes. It's the kind of card that... Um, we've seen a lot of flash decks in this format. A lot of people are playing Simic Flash, and if we get to play Vivian's Arcbow on turn two and resolve it against the flash deck, we're going to be doing really well because we can just, um, you know, we don't have to play during our turn. We get to play during their turn all the time. And so then they have to, um, they have to like, you know, keep their mana up and everything, but then they can't really counter anything because we get to just discard a card and put a creature into play. They don't even get to counter it. So we can make all their counter spells not be able to do anything. As far as our deck goes, we got the really cool wolf combo with Night Pack Ambusher and Tulsimer, Friend to Wolves. Really like these two cards together. So that, that's what our deck's kind of built on. As you can see, we're playing three Tulsimers. We're really looking for Tulsimer. That's, that's one of our best cards against aggro and everything. And then, of course, we got Frilled Mystic to pair with Night Pack Ambusher. Because just like with the Simic Flash decks, those two are just such a good pairing. I got the one Spark Double in here that uh, we can copy night, you know, night pack Ambusher. We can copy Tulsimer. Um, we can even copy Frilled Mystic at instant speed with Arcbow. Um, you know, we can do some cool stuff with this. Copy God Eternal Oketra or Tristani. We have some really impactful cards there. So basically our goal is to hit five land drops. You know, we want, we want to have five mana. Um, and uh, then basically every turn, whatever we draw, we're just discarding it to Vivian's Arcbow and, um, you know, just activating it with all of our mana and everything and trying to put an impactful card into play at instant speed every turn. It plays pretty well. It plays pretty well whenever that happens there. Um, <laughs> uh, and so that, that's what we got here. All right, so let's, let's get to the games. So let's get to some Bant Arcbow in standard 2020 and yeah we'll be just playing them over in ranked where am i at 747 i guess we've dropped down the last time i checked a few days ago last time we played i was like around 500 so you drop down there anyway uh i hope you're doing real good over there mike hope life's going great Okay, what do we have? Our mana is, of course, not as great with it being standard 2020. That's just how life is. We have definitely a really good hand if we can uh, have an un a third untapped land. You know, if we have to, you know, we're going to go Temple and then Hallowed Fountain Incubation Druid. If I need to play Temple of Mystery again on turn three, that would be kind of rough. So that's not an untapped land, so I'm putting it to the bottom. Oh, that's awesome. The Aegeans. Man, I, lo I love Aegean. What a great guy. Ugh. We did not get that uh, fourth mana. Um. Yeah, I don't. I basically don't really have any any updates since like the last time I talked to you. Um, still waiting to hear about. Ooh, they did not play a land or anything. Hey, what's up, Chris? They're just going to go to discard. I guess I could have made them go to discard. I 
I'm still waiting to hear uh, about my whole situation and everything and when I'll be able to move and all that kind of stuff. So I'm one mana short from Night of Autumn Destroy Reclamation and have Counterspell Backup. Attacking for 13. Almost lethal. Close to lethal. I, do I counter this? Is it that important? Is there is there like root snare in this format? So I guess they could minus two Ral and copy something. I don't know what. There is oh there is root snare in this format. Hmm. Maybe I should have saved Frilled Mystic for root snare. Oh, I have the zero zero by the wrong deck. How about that? Guess we'll have to turn it. Into one to know. Off to a good start. So yeah, that that's that's where you can see the the list right there. We got a good hand except for mana, but we're on the draw and we got scry land. So I feel pretty good about having an untapped land on turn two. Not as good anymore. Better now. We're going to be playing standard day one of Throne of Eldraine. We'll be playing standard all day. I don't have the exact deck list right now. I'm not uh, going to be taking. I'm taking tomorrow off to rest and prepare, but um, that's part of the preparation. I'll be making a lot of decks tomorrow. Um. Oh, wait. Ugh, Guard Mage isn't drawing me a card. That was kind of my plan, was to play Elite Guard Mage.
if I don't get to draw a card because it's Narset. Yeah, we could resolve Arcbow right there, but then we don't do anything else. They shock my Incubation Druid, and then I don't have four mana next turn. Also, I think I'm just going to play the Ambusher here. Now we got Arcbo available. So it could be Big Chandra. Bleh. Right on schedule. Worst card to see. I've got it. Oh, I guess I I have Frilled Mystics. I should have just in response did I should have done that in response. I didn't want to, the reason why I didn't want to do it in response because I didn't want to like get a creature and then they bounce the creature kind of thing. That's what I was thinking. That's a huge problem. Definitely for the cards that I have here, I was really relying on Relying on that. Because my ha my cards that I have are very terrible. That was the worst possible thing that could happen to fairy bounce my arc bow and then counter it. Don't worry, I got this. No, I don't have any plain white celebration. I just had to find another arc bow. I got four of them. But it's if you make it to the inferno. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. It's pretty over. Well, next game. No, Thought Erasure is not out this rotation. Mid-range creature deck like this is going to struggle against control game one. That's why best of three is a lot better, where you get a sideboard. Um, I, um, so that's just going to be a really bad best of one matchup. It's just how life is. 
I am more focused on trying to beat aggro. You know, we got all the we got the life gain stuff and everything, and I'd rather be facing aggro. This one of spark double hasn't been looking too good yet. Aw, uh, thanks, Dropsy. Uh, no, Soros, I'm not. Okay, try. So, of course, looks like, you know, they're trying to field of the dead. I have the deputies to be able to take down tokens. I don't have to be too worried about that. Um, Gates of Blaze, of course, is a problem. You know, just when you're playing a, a creature deck, sweepers are a problem. Hey, Metamorph. I don't really think that they'll have an instant here. So I think we just get to go for lethal. Oh, deputy. I mean, it's really good job, Oketra, being such a fast clock and killing people so quickly. <laughs> All right, so we are two and one. Good old Vant Arkbo. We haven't done too much cool Arcbo stuff yet. R means that we're playing the deck in ranked. Playing Knight of the Ebon Legion. Is this mono black? Hmm. Well, like most creature decks, Priest of Forgotten Gods. This is kind of a nightmare. Obviously, best case scenario is no creature. For my opponent over there. <laughs> I 
I don't how how would I do that, Doom Waffle? I hope they activate. Well darn. That is not what I wanted to see. <laughs> yeah, I, I do like that. I do like that Dark Death, Dark Death is playing mono black. That's pretty nice. Like, do you want me to play your draft deck from your pre-release in, what, in standard? I don't I don't see the point of that. I haven't played limited in a while though. I think I may play some limited with this set. Get the night action going. Hey Nordboa, I'm doing good, doing good. Hope you're doing good as well. I guess I should attack. Oh, yeah, I didn't get Deckmaster up. Forgot to do that. Thanks for the reminder. Should be up here any second now. All right, and it should be up. It doesn't make a lot of sense that my opponent has absolutely nothing to do, but I guess maybe they do. Maybe they just have nothing to do. Maybe this is a two-color deck, and they just have five swamps.
What's up, Re oh, what's up, Wake? And hey, Rex. <laughs> yeah, a little, a little tired, but you know we're we're back to work today. I'm not, I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'm gonna be making, uh, we're preparing for our 12-hour stream Thursday and stuff. I'll be making a lot of decks and everything like that. And then Wednesday, I I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm planning on streaming on Wednesday. I'm not exactly sure what what we'll do. All right, this next turn I can play God Eternal, Ketra, and Knight of Autumn. Oh, I, I missed a resub by Jopsy. Oh, sorry. So we had a resub here. Okay. Wolf down. Hey, Soul Farmer. No, up, I'm not. Spawn of Mayhem? Spawn of Mayhem's a problem. Just taking it. Okay, so they, you know, Spawn of Mayhem does six damage. This next turn, Priest can do four. It's like right now we're effectively at one, where we have to kill our opponent this next turn. Okay, well, they they didn't use Priest, so now Priest can only do two. But if they would have, like, activated Priest, untapped, activated Priest again, that's how it could have done four. Uh, 
Azatep Reaver is a, a really nice card for blocking and good for Priest and everything. Wow. That hurts. Hmm, that really hurts. So I'm probably just going to be playing Arcbow and activating it. Just try to try to stay alive here. We could find Deputy of Detention or Elite Guard Mage or Tulsimer. Tulsimer in particular would be good. The question is if I activate now or if I wait. All right, so I steal Spawn of Mayhem or I kill Priest. If I kill Priest... They eat their chump there, take four, go to one, and then die to spawn. <laughs> yeah. So it should be lethal for us. They eat priest now, so they don't get to activate priest before blockers. They can have Knight blocks Frilled Mystic, Gutter Bones blocks Oketra, but they take four. Spawn of Mayhem does the fifth. So good game. There we go. Three and one. This deck's pretty sweet. We got to finally do a pretty sweet Arcbow thing there. Go find Tulsimer for the win. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely doing okay. I just had to... I'm just pretty exhausted after the really long stream yesterday. But yeah, everything's going good. We'll see if we draw a two-mana mana creature here. Like drawing a mana creature... Uh, would be perfect. We got two looks at it because of the temple. So we do need another land. It'd be pretty greedy to put this land to the bottom. So I'm just going to keep it. Hey, Nub. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that.
At least this person's not playing Esper Control anymore. Played against this person a few other times, previous time, previous days, and they're always playing Esper Control. So that's why. I, that's what I thought they were going to be playing. So I was fine with keeping this slow hand. Um, what do I think overall of the set? I don't know, it's a, it's a big question. Um, it doesn't look like the set is as powerful as Core 2020 or War of the Spark at first glance. I'm not sure what my favorite card of the set is. I don't know. Not you. Yeah, and I, I didn't mean to say that as, like, that's a bad thing that it's not as powerful as the other sets, because I also don't think it needs to be as powerful as these last two sets. Core 20, core set 2020 in particular. Pretty unreal. Frilled Mystic's pretty good. We don't get an extra wolf, but we're about to start getting extra wolves that we'll be able to fight because of Tulsimer. Yeah, Tulsimer Ambusher synergy is so nice. has crept too far. Tear it down. Hey, Jam. Get him. Fourth sub of the day. Basically, I can have lethal here if they don't have instant speed removal. By by um, adapting the incubation druid and just attacking them. I don't think they'll have instant speed removal.
GG's. Alright, we're four and one. Oh yeah. Night pack. Tulsimer. Garrick. Definitely can't wait to play some Abzan with those cards. Good looking hands. I hope my opponent's playing Rakdos. <laughs> yeah, Abzan has two uh, uh, temples. They have black, white, and... I think I want the guard mage. They have black, white, black, green. So those two, uh, you know, emphasize black as the main color. Of course, when you think Abzan, you think like green being the main color, though. I don't know what the first deck I'm going to build tomorrow is. Um, probably going to go back through the, through our review that like we you know how we talked about all the cards and stuff, and you know kind of you know go back through like the cards that that we gave good grades and kind of build decks around them. Uh, but mono green, mono black are two decks that I'm pretty excited about playing. Really love to see an arc bow. Looking for an arc bow. That would be an ideal draw step. Um, I haven't had any problems so far with basic planes for old mystics, but you know that's that's something that could definitely pop up. Um, having incubation druid and paradise druid as the mana creatures help there because they can add a blue or green, assuming you have one blue and one green already. Um, unlike land of war elf and leafkin druid that only add green and and make it harder to have the double blue. Night of Autumns look kind of like nonsense in this matchup. Hey, Matthew. I 
I'm not sold the artifact snake from the new set is is any good. Hmm. That's not great. We talked about that card a, a lot yesterday. Well, obviously I should not have attacked there. Very obviously. Our deck's not going to be, or is going to struggle there, but yeah, you know, like Knight of Autumn looked like pretty worthless. Same with the second and third mana creatures, but that's all, that's all good. Hey, Samantha, good afternoon. It's the kind of matchup where two cards that were super important, like that matchup there, our two most important cards are Arcbow. Well, that's our most important card by a mile in that kind of matchup, a long grindy matchup like that. But then besides that, we need Frilled Mystics. You know, I need Frilled Mystics to counter the treacheries and Cavaliers and that kind of stuff. And Oketra could maybe help get me there too. You know, like if I can go crazy with Oketra. Knight of Autumns and Mana Creatures are going to do absolutely nothing there. That's what we had. Mask of Immolation is pretty cool. Alright, so I think this is a a game here where we don't really need the Paradise Druid. So I'm just going to get the Arc Bow in play where I'm probably going to just discard the Paradise Druid. So I can go like Knight of Autumn next turn to trade with Mask of Immolation. No surprise. No surprise there with the sacrifice. We should just just trade completely here. And I guess I'll probably have Deputy round up some goblins next turn. I guess that's not so great. Cause they're gonna have the Yeah, that's that's not so great, honestly. I mean I guess I could try to take War Boss. Then they kill Deputy, they get War Boss back and they still have these things. Maybe I'd just play this. Alright. No, my my opponent just hard cast Agent of Treachery. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Rakdos. Yep, GG's. Well, that is definitely a trade I want to make. See if there's like a pump spell or anything here. Because now Deputy can take up these goblins. We may be dead, though. So my turn two play ended up being completely wrong with playing Arcbow instead of Paradise Druid. Lesson learned. All right, made some bad mistakes those games, those last two. We'll do one more. I like it. So basically, I know that I really should never lead with Arcbow on two, and I, I that was like one really rare time that I led with Arcbow on two instead of the mana creature and instantly paid for it. So back to always leading with the mana creature. So good, good lesson there. Playing a deck like this, just start with the mana creature. Get that mana in play. All right, so feel pretty good about getting Arcbow in play against the Flash deck. Or now I get to just sit back and activate Arcbow. Even if this wasn't a Flash deck, um, I would still be able to, you know, one to play the Arcbow there, not really hold up Frilled Mystics. I didn't feel like that was a, a vital turn to have Frilled Mystic um, available. I don't really want to deal with that. Plus, now they're tapped out, and I can toll some more of the Spectral Sailor. So they don't get to draw more cards. Yeah, this game's over. This is over. I mean, if they had Reclamation Resolve, you know, they would be able to, like, activate Spectral Sailor on their turn and then untap and still have all their counter magic and stuff. So I think that was the plan. Oh, really? Yeah, Tulsimer Ambusher is such a sweet combo. Probably should just play that land. I was thinking that maybe I'd discard the land, but honestly, I probably should just play it.
Whoops. Well, this is going to be really... This is going to be pretty crazy here. So sure, I could have just done that during my turn and then attacked, but then I don't get the extra 4-4. Four four. You know me, I gotta get that extra 4-4 four four in there. Yeah. Yeah, who's the ambusher deck now? Alright, you can bounce that, that's fine. These are, like, these really are ambushers. Like, th this is how you turn them into ambushers right here. That's, that's a real ambusher. Hey, what's up, Greedy? Yeah, 56 and 3. We're on that win streak. All right, let's draw some lands. That counts. It's not the best land. This isn't the best combo. That was the worst card to draw, the third Tulsimer. So we we drew our worst land and then our worst spell so far here. I am not going to take this one out. Trust me, I have a plan. That's not ideal. We will meet again. So five color Golos, it looks like. Looks like Field of the Dead. I know my responsibility. Here goes nothing. I won't let you win. Okay. Obviously, I need to get that Teferi off the battlefield before I can throw Mystic. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I wouldn't mind saving this deputy in case of a bunch of zombies.
pretty mean. That's how it was meant to happen. Need to draw another blue source. That really hurt. That really hurt. I really didn't want my opponent to steal my blue source. Maybe I should have just let them. You know, I could could have gone deputy, you rock. Then they take they take blue source instead of those other two lands. They get to draw three cards here, of course. Oh my gosh, I have planes. I can't even hold up Frilled Mystic. <laughs> uh, Alright, they got me. Uh, mana troubles there. Mana troubles. I'll be I'll play three color decks upcoming rotation. Hey Wrangler. Happy Monday. Well, I didn't really want to Block the Dodger anyway. I think we're going to be dodging the Dodger.
Don't really love any of my options for this turn. But I guess that's the best I got. I'm a little worried at, like about using the deputy here, where if they have like Chandra Spitfire, or even Chandra, yeah, I don't. Especially, but especially the Spitfire, I don't have the removal spell there. But we can look for one with an arc bow. Card. This is looking pretty good for us. I'll shock next turn and have I'll be able to play Arc Bow and then just have Arc and then have Frilled Mystics up also. But yeah, this I don't imagine this being a loss. We'll see. Pretty sure we got this one in hand. Hey, don't start any fires without me. It's a good card. Good card. So they can skewer something. All right, so with this happening, I'm not going to play the arc bow this turn. And like, I assume they're just going to take out the guard mage. Because, yeah, Chandra has two loyalty on, now. Chandra, remember that spell. So I'm just going to have Frilled Mystic up. Now, obviously, drawing Ambusher just makes this really easy. But then I want to be able to do this attack, so they have to. So we get to trade our Paradise Druid with either War Boss or Chandra. They have to pick there. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a monk. Yeah, this is. This is pretty over. We got Ambusher and Double Mystic. What's up, Bass? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. All right, so we're going to be six and four. It it So the question is, would Agent of Treachery be too expensive for the deck? With a ramp, seems like it could be doable, which would be nice with Arc Bow. Yeah, it really depends on the matchup. I I would definitely have these... I would definitely have, like, a good amount of Agent of Treacheries in the sideboard uh, for your slower matchups. Um, you know, it's it would certainly be worth it. Um, card doesn't do anything, but I'm not sure about with best of one, you know, if, if we can really afford it there, could play them like instead of the Knight of Autumns, the Knight of Autumns haven't looked very good, 
I was thinking about wanting Knight of Autumn for like this kind of matchup with like Cavalcade and everything and just being a a decent three drop as there could be a four three that could trade with creatures and stuff, but the Knight of Autumns have looked not so great, but we also haven't always had seven mana. Seven's a lot of mana. As far as the best you know, best of three, absolutely. Agent of Treachery would be in the 75 for sure. Yep, yeah, like yeah, that's a it's an extension called Deckmaster that allows you to read the cards. That's really nice. All right, we're six and four. And this is our last one here with Arcbow. Either we lose and we finish with two wins or we get this extra win here. Let's see how we do. So this is our final boss for Arcbow. Hopefully we get the seven and four instead of six and five. Yeah, M20 was a really really powerful set i don't yeah i don't think eldraine is as powerful but of course <clears throat> i think i'd rather have knight of autumn here than you know imagine this being agent of treachery Ugh, this hand would look a little worse Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think that that that's true. That is one of the best core sets of all time, honestly. Maybe the best. Thanks, Bear. Thanks, Cy Bear. So, of course, I would like my opponent to play a pre-combat card. That would be awesome for me. Play a Chandra or something like that. Dealing with this knight's gonna be really tough. I think my opponent has another spell here. I think they just shocked in. I could be wrong about that. Oh, they just shocked in for knight activation, right? So we're barely alive. Can die at any second. Oh, 
plus three plus three. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, thanks so much there, Paul. I appreciate that. Boom goes the dynamite. Tulsa Murr. Taking down our final boss. Thanks for that luck from Paul with that sub there. Off the top. And that's why we play three Tulsa Murrs. Cards busted. Yeah, Tulsa Murr really wanted me to win that game. Those wolves. All right, so good 7-4 and four record there with Ban Arkbo. Uh, the biggest thing that it looked like we struggled with was um, was the ramp decks. You know, they were ramping into Agent of Treachery. You know, there's, we played against two of those. Both of those felt really rough. Um, so that, that was, a, you know, that was a rough matchup. Um, cause you know, they just go, you know, like we're both mid range decks and they're going bigger. And especially with those ones, I didn't have arc bow or frilled mystic, um, ever in those matchups where, uh, I really need that. Um, but, uh, besides those two, seven and two against everything else. Uh, yeah, our mana, our mana was just fine for the most part. We had the one, that one time against the agent of treachery deck. You know, so one out of 11 games where our mana really hurt us uh, by only having the single blue and not being able to Frilled Mystic. Um, besides that, we were good. The Spark Double never did anything. Well, that's not true. We got to copy an Oketra one time, actually. That helped us beat a Gates, a Gates deck having double Oketra. So it's not like it didn't do anything. Uh, tap lands weren't too much of an issue. The format overall is a little slower. And against, you know, even though you would think that, that the tap lands would hurt you against the aggro decks, but um, we have a lot of stuff here against aggro decks with Knight of Autumn's Guard Mage, Tulsimer, Tristani, that kind of stuff. Paradise Druid was a lot better than Incubation Druid. But I, I think Incubation Druid, I, it was fine. I... I think it's still better than any other option for a two mana thing right now. Yeah, like my my plan here, so the plan behind the spark double, it would be like with having arc bow, it would like if we if we had arc bow in play and you know we were doing the arc bow thing, it's it would basically be like a fifth frilled mystic to be able to hit frilled mystic or you know hit an, another ambusher kind of thing it, it could basically double as another ambush or a frill mystic like later on in the game um also spark doubling tulsimer is kind of cool uh, but then and then you know like these things are pretty cool too that was like the thoughts but it wasn't spectacular um i could see playing one agent of treachery instead of that one spark double i could see that for sure um i could see playing risen reef instead of night of autumn night of autumn was pretty decent against the aggro decks like the gain four life to Kept us alive a little bit in one of the matches. Uh, 
or against the yeah against the mono black like night of like we would not have won that that matchup against the mono black deck if we didn't have night of autumn gaining four life we did that like multiple times um and you know we're like we would have died without that okay anyway that's ban arcbo first deck here for our last standard 2020 session so if you're watching the video later on youtube of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And of course, feel free to leave some comments. I always like seeing those. And then last thing, if you haven't checked out the Throne of Eldraine set review over there on YouTube, it's all up right now. I'll put a link to the YouTube channel here as well. Um, hope you check those out. We spent a long time yesterday, you know, over 10 hours talking through every single card in Throne of Eldraine. Um, how could we use it in standard and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, went really in depth. So hopefully... Y'all check those out and uh, like that. But thank you so much for watching some Band Arc Bow, and I'll see you for the next video.